Hey friends, welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time, welcome to the family. My name is Mr. Jim and I love telling stories that come from you. Yeah, all these stories that we do every single day come from kids just like you. They send me their ideas and an adventure that they want to go on. And then I choose the best ones to turn into a real story on the podcast. Well, friends, today's story comes to us from Cooper and Charlie. Are you guys ready to hear this amazing new adventure? I definitely am. Let's go. Cooper and Charlie were just finishing up their dinner that night. It was late in the evening, but they were scarfing down their dinner because something truly amazing, truly adventurous was happening tonight. They were going to camp in their backyard inside of a tent and sleep outside. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Well, Cooper and Charlie had spent all afternoon setting up their tent, getting their sleeping bags and pillows and everything ready, even a nice little fan to blow on them inside the tent to keep them cool in, in case it stayed hot that night. Charlie, come on, are you almost done yet? Said Cooper. How did you eat your dinner so fast? Said Charlie. I'm only halfway done. Sorry, I was really excited and uh, and hungry, said Cooper. Okay, well, just give me a couple more minutes, said Charlie. Okay, I'll clean off the table and get everything else ready. Then let's grab our flashlights and head out to the tent, said Cooper. Cooper ran to their room to grab a couple flashlights. He turned them on and one of the flashlights didn't turn on, so he needed to get some new batteries. He raced around and checked all the drawers until finally he found the right pair. He needed two AA batteries to turn on that flashlight. He put them in and click. Ah, perfect. Now we have enough flashlights, said Cooper. Hey, Charlie, are you done? Yeah, I'm just putting my stuff in the dishwasher. Are the flashlights ready? Yep, all ready. I even put some fresh batteries in this one here. Charlie raced over and put his hand out to grab onto the flashlight. Here you go. You have this one, said Cooper. All right, you two, go out to the tent and please stay safe out there. And if you have any bad dreams or if you get scared, just come right on back inside, said their parents. Oh, don't worry about that. We are staying in the tent all night long, said Cooper. Yeah, this is going to be the best night ever said Charlie as they rushed out the back door. Cooper and Charlie both jumped into the tent at the same time. One, two, three. Whoa! This is... This is awesome, said Charlie. It turned out really well. Like, this looks cool and... Oh, there's like a skylight up there. They laid on their backs and looked straight up. They could see the stars shining through the top of the tent. It was protected with like a bug netting to keep the bugs out, but they could still see all the stars and the moon glowing through it. Whoa, what was that? Said Charlie. Uh, kind of sounded like an owl, but... Oh, wow, I don't know why, but I just got tired all of a sudden, said Cooper. It is getting kind of late, said Charlie. I guess we can lay down and maybe if we fall asleep... Then we'll just roll with it. As soon as they laid their heads down on their pillows, they heard a scratching sound on the tent. Charlie, please tell me that it was you just scratching on the tent just now, said Cooper. What? That wasn't me. I thought it was you, said Charlie. <gasps> There's an animal outside. Or is it a monster? Said Cooper. Grab the flashlight. They reached all around and only found one. Turn it on, quick, 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 said Charlie. Cooper flipped on the one flashlight and shined it around. <coughs> what was that? Said Cooper. Didn't sound very scary. Here, let me take a look outside. Cooper unzipped the door and poked his head out. And he was met with four little beady eyes. Help us! There's a ghost out there trying to eat us! Are those baby raccoons? Said Charlie. And not another second passed by before both of those two baby raccoons jumped right into their tent. Ah, ah, whoa, 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 what's going on? Get out of here, said Cooper. 
sure there's a ghost out there that's trying to eat us. Please, don't send us back out there. Why do you keep talking about a ghost, you two? Said Charlie. Because uh, there's a ghost out there. What else would you talk about if you heard a real ghost? Yeah, I guess that does make sense, said Cooper. If I heard a real ghost, that's all I would be talking about. But I don't feel like there's real ghosts here. Uh, uh, Charlie, grab the flashlight. Let's go outside and take a look around. You don't want to do that. It's going to get you. We don't want you to die. Begged the baby raccoons. Oh, it'll be fine. Just stay right here, said Cooper. Cooper and Charlie stepped out of the tent with the flashlight and started to look around. Why do you think they're so convinced about a ghost being around here? I've never heard of that. I don't know, but let's take a look around. Cooper and Charlie waved the flashlight around their backyard. They were looking for any movements or listening very close to hear any creepy sounds. But all they saw were two little beady eyes up in the tree. Whoa, is that that owl we heard earlier? Look at that thing. It's so cool looking, said Charlie. Wow, I don't know if I've ever seen a real owl before, said Cooper. It does look really cool, a little creepy. And then they heard that sound again. That's the ghost, yelled the two baby raccoons from inside the tent. And that is when it all made sense to Cooper and Charlie. Oh, they think the owl is a ghost. Oh dear, how do we explain this to them? Said Charlie. I'll give it a try. Cooper walked back to the tent, poked his head inside to see those two baby raccoons cuddled up in the corner. They were hugging each other. They were so scared. It's going to be okay, you two. Here, um, so it's good news. It's actually not a ghost. It's an owl. Nah, uh, uh, we definitely heard a ghost. I promise you. Uh, you guys just don't know what a ghost sound is like. Well, why don't you just come on over to the door of the tent right here? Just take a look outside, and we'll shine the flashlight right on the owl. You can watch him make that sound. The two raccoons cautiously crept over to the door of the tent. Charlie waved the flashlight over to the owl. They waited and waited until. <coughs> Oh, I guess you're right, said one of the raccoons. Oh, that's a little embarrassing. Oh, you don't need to be embarrassed. It's okay. We all get scared sometimes, said Cooper. Yeah, but okay, I just wish I probably had home. Well, yeah, you guys head home, but maybe we can play again sometime. This was kind of fun, said Charlie. Yeah, that sounds fun. Are you guys sleeping out here in this big t-shirt? This big (laughs) t-shirt? No, it's actually called a tent. A tent? No, no, it looks like a big t-shirt. Okay, yeah, whatever, a t-shirt tent. Uh, Yes, we are sleeping here tonight. Oh, cool, well, maybe we'll play in the morning. Good night. The two raccoons waved their little paws and ran off into the forest, feeling a lot better that it wasn't a real ghost in the forest. Cooper and Charlie couldn't believe what had just happened. (sighs) But they were still pretty tired and ready for sleep. Even though this is the end of our story, it's definitely only just the beginning of Charlie and Cooper's great adventures with their new raccoon friends. The end. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, Jackson, who's turning seven years old. Jackson loves to draw. He loves to read and write adventure stories. Oh, and he loves the theater. Wow, Jackson, I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy seventh birthday. Friends, if you want to celebrate your big day on the show, have your parents check down in the show notes below to see how to make that happen. Right now, I'm scheduling March and April birthdays. Well, friends, I hope you all have a super duper day and I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.